The Diocese of Cagayan de Oro was erected from the Diocese of Moboca, which then comprised the IFI churches in the provinces of Misamis Oriental, Bukidnon, and Camigin. The Diocese of Moboca was part of the Diocese of Northern Mindanao. It was only in 1985 that Moboca was gradually and commonly adopted, whereas zealous evangelism work and membership expansion characterizes Bishop Diel's era, brought about by his exceptional charismatic gifts, specially healing and initiated a religious or pious group called 63rd and Mothers, which greatly contributed to the membership expansion of the diocese. Bishop Camilo C. Diel Sr. served as a diocesan bishop of Moboca until his death on June 26, 1999. Serving as auxiliary and suffragan bishops, respectively were Bishop Salvador Artilen and Aquilino Butawan. After the death of Bishop Butawan, Bishop Porfirio de la Cruz was appointed as officer in charge for one year. Bishop Valentin Lorijo Jr. assumed the interim capacity until 2004 when Bishop Felixberto L. Calang was appointed to oversee the diocese. Bishop Felixberto Calang's time can be viewed so far as time of fortification and national church recognition. Under Bishop Calang's visionary leadership, matched by the vibrant participation of the entire membership, and with Moboka 2012 as comprehensive program map, Moboka has leveled up in many respects and has gained recognition even in the national level of the Church. To mention some of its feats, full implementation of the centralization program which resulted in stable finance and soaring national remittance, erection of the Diocesan Christian Education and Nurture Training Center at Bulba Parish now pro-cathedral of the Virgin Mary, the site of the first ever IFI General Assembly outside the city of Manila and Luzon. The redistricting of Moboca with the creation of the new diocese in 2008, Diocese of Libertad. The creation of the Diocese of Malaybalay and Cagayan de Oro in 2012. Today, the Diocese of Cagayan de Oro is continuing its journey as a local church with the guidance of its comprehensive program map, the CDO 2022, which will culminate in the creation of the Diocese of Sugbong Kogon in 2022. The Diocese of Cagayan de Oro is composed of 24 parishes and 8 missions, geographically divided into two areas, the city parishes, west, and the eastern parishes. There are 34 clergy and 2 pastoral interns in this diocese. The Diocesan Bishop the Right Rev. Felix Berto L. Calang Rev. Jeffrey M. Guligado Rev. Artemio M. Labita Rev. Anthony A. Pasco Rev. Roland June J. Cabanez Rev. Alvin B. Akiman Rev. Horace B. Yangyang Monsignor Efren A. Habinyar Monsignor Manuel G. Montes Jr. Rev. Mark Joseph E. Gavia Rev. Jefferson G. Palasat Rev. George J. Alungay Rev. Patrick J. Mabalakad Rev. Loni B. Cabanacan Rev. Vic E. Arellano Rev. Ludito L. Lumamba Rev. Camilo V. Haliasgo Rev. Noel B. Apal Sr. Rev. Rigi P. Yakapin Rev. General P. Hadman Rev. Anthony E. Sevilla Rev. Jijit S. Villeza Rev. Kenneth Paul A. Pilaiz Rev. Joker P. Kabulay Rev. Glenn D. Edralin Rev. Gregorio V. Elievido Rev. Jeremias A. Fentes Rev. Algen Paul M. Asidera Rev. Jan Ray Sambas Brother Romney Kaudian Rev. Rene P. Kaayaw Rev. Jesse M. Along Rev. Rokelm Absidi Rev. Jonmark A. Yanez Rev. Salvador S. Telen Jr. Rev. Emma C. Katubig Our Seminarians 
CITIO 2022, the 10-year program of the Diocese of Cagi and Diora that covers the year 2013 to 2022. Her vision, the IFI Diocese of Cagi and Diora is a progressive and fully developed local Christian community, faithfully witnessing for Christ and journeying with the struggle of the basic masses in pursuit of a society where peace based on justice reigns and harmony among people and the whole creation flourish, enjoying an abundant life and integral salvation towards the realization of God's kingdom here on earth. Her mission, the Diocese of Cagi and de Oro commits herself to establish a cohesive and responsible membership in living out the authentic, liberating, and self-denying teachings of Christ manifested in the nationalist faith and heritage of the IFI in responding to the needs of its members and the marginalized sectors of society. The Five Program Trust of City of 2022 ESEN, Evangelism and Christian Education and Nurture HRD, Human Resource Development and Church Expansion IRSA, Interfaith Relations and Social Actions Litmus, Liturgy and Music And IRED, Infrastructure and Real Estate Development We look forward to the realization of CDO 2022 Padayun IFI CDO